Hey loves, how's it going? We're back with another video. So welcome back to my channel and to a new video. Your girl Rosie here. Guess what today's video is? Besides another makeup look because it's kind of obvious. That's what this channel is. It's another fall look. But the other fall look that I did, yes, it was the one that I just posted. Mm, lipstick on my teeth. I swear I cleaned that. Okay. So, so yes, I just posted it. It was the latest one I did. Fall look, I know, but that one was red toned, warm toned. This one is a more of a brown, golden, caramelized fall look. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Caramelized fall look. And while I used the Adeline Warm palette mixed with a Morphe palette in the last fall look, I am using the new beautiful Urban Decay Naked Honey palette. Let's just... Yes. Yes. Finally got my hands on this. It is the perfect, beautiful palette for fall and for a just neutral casual looks it's beautiful and this is sort of like a first look review thing i've used it once before but like i was gonna wait to use it for a video so it could be like a first look together slash review tutorial video but then my camera died like halfway through so now i'm redoing it and here it is so this is like a review slash my second time using it, to be honest, I'm gonna be honest. So yeah, anyways, if you want to see how to do this cut crease fall look, golden caramelized cut crease, then let's stop getting lipstick on my teeth. Then let's keep watching and get into the video. Prime everything. Face priming spray. Or NYX, no, that, that, this is NYX, NYX Priming Spray, Blistex Medicated Lip Balm, because my lips are super dry, especially in the wintertime. Prime everything. Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Mm. I'm out of this, I need more. Don't we can get on to the fun part. <laughs> the new beautiful Urban Decay Naked Honey palette. Let's, let's just eh, admire the beautiful colors. Like they, they are so beautiful. Okay, I'm just gonna take the brush that came with it. I'm gonna take the fluffier side and take the color. Which one did I use before? Sweet. I'm gonna take sweet and just put that in the crease. Also, I don't know if you guys can see it, but look at that excess that just comes off. Love it. Okay, anyways. It's a very nice neutral shade to transition. Love this shade. Yeah, but it's just very neutral. It blends in so nicely. So next I will take I forget which one I used. I'm gonna take Hive. Also a very neutral shade. We'll get dust off the excess and put that in the crease. I'm 
Next we're going to do drip. Powder off the excess. <laughs> Sorry, that was weird. And put that in the seam of the crease. Next we're going to take the white neutral shade, dust off and put that in the brow bone for highlight. And then going in with Sting, it's like a brownish burgundy, no, no, it's brown, Sting. And putting that in the outer corner and dusting it into the dust the excess into the crease. And switch sides go with the flatter, smaller side brush of the brush and take. Mm, We'll do golden. Take golden and I'm just going to put that on the lid. Wow. Oh my god, that is so pigmented. Look at this. Guys, can you guys see this? Look at that. Oh my gosh. She is glittering. Sparkling these all these colors blend so nicely and they are pigmented. This is a great palette. I'm glad I finally got my hands on it. Mm. Wow. I think it's a perfect kind of neutral um neutral casual eye look. This is a great palette for that. And then once you've packed on the golden for your liking. I like to pack it on a little extra in case it like creases and fades throughout the day. So once you've packed that onto your liking, I'm going to do my NYX full coverage concealer. And... Sharpen the edges and just conceal my eyes, under eyes, and a little bit on my nose. Once you've concealed the under eye, I'm going to go in with my black Physicians Formula Crayon Eyeliner and just line my waterline. Kind of like medium, like not too light, not too dark. Sometimes it turns out a little darker than I like, but I just like to use this as a base. Because I'm going to go back in with the palette with the small side. I'm going to go in with the shade Honey. Honey. Yes, one. And just... Who the heck is calling me from New York? Hola, como estas? Pretty sure they're speaking Chinese. No idea what that was. Anyways, uh, go back in with honey and just highlight the inner corner. Get the extra 
golden sparkle. I'm, I'm obsessed with golden and sparkle. Well, when I go to jewelry, I do more silver than I do gold. But, you know. Anyways. So <laughs> I'm going to go back in with the drip shade from before. And put that underneath I keep torturing myself. Every time I do this, I get eyeshadow in my eyeball. I don't know if you guys can hear my phone vibrating on my metal desk, but it's pretty obnoxious. And I'm going to go back in with drip and put that on the under eye as well. Ooh, that's a lot. Hold on. I think I'm about to start crying because I just keep getting, not like literally, but like because I keep getting it in my eyeball. My eye is watering. Oh! That was a weird sound. I make the weirdest noises when I react to things. And more often than not, a sound comes out instead of words. I'm just cleaning this up a little bit. Okay, she cleaned up. She looking good. She going on vacation and this this eye's just not done yet. And then I'm gonna take my NYX vinyl liquid eyeliner and create a semi-cat eye. I wanna do a wing but only go to like three quarters of the way. I'm not gonna go all the way down. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's do that. That is dramatic. That is bigger than I wanted, but that's okay. It looks good. We're working with it. And then take the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Intensa Mascara. That's and putting that on my top lashes. Just clumped together. All right, so take the Maybelline the Fossies Push Up Angel, but Maybelline on the bottom lashes. usually what happens can you guys tell like this eyeliner she she working hard she making all the money she going on vacation she traveling she's on a yacht this this eyeliner she's great this one she she working but it's not really working out she's just chilling and having a calm life like eyeliners never are even okay continuing NYX Wonder Stick Contour Low-Key States. Oh, that's the wrong side. Low-Key is pretty great. Well, it is great. It works well. But I mean, powder contour bronzer, a little bit better. 
I, don't know, I just like to, I prefer this for my nose though, and this for my face. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna use this on my face with a 3E effect, and this on my nose. I feel like I'm talking too much in this video. Let me know. I I'm not like a pro contour yet, but I do what I can and I like the little difference. It's that's just a thing. And I feel like I'm in like an extra weird mood today, so I'm a little extra talkative. Let me know. Plus, I feel like videos that don't talk much, then it's just like showy showy and I'm like, I don't know, I like to have like a little fun in a video. I like to like, like watch a video that's a little fun and not just like, yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Hula bronzer, time to contour. Oh yeah, if, if you can read that. I got this as a birthday gift, that's why, it's like at Ulta, that's why it says that. Okay, but anyway, I'm gonna take an angled brush to contour and then a fluffier brush to blend it out. Let's do it. I feel like it looks extra darker on camera than it does in person in my mirror. But, you know, I don't hate it. Okay. We're gonna go with it. So, <laughs> I'm gonna go with my angled brush, a different angled brush, with my Adeline Morin X Tarte palette and use the blush shade that is in here, which this is one of my favorite blushes and one of my only brushes. I have bl brushes, blushes. I only have like two other blushes, but this is just the one that's in front of me. So this is the one that we're gonna use. Plus this is a great one. Not biased. It's not because I love Adeline. Cause she's great. It's Cause it's a good blush. Okay, I'm talking too much. There we go. fan brush and my nomad midnight sun highlighter loves i am obsessed with highlighter that i hit pan on my adeline warren palette a little bit so i stopped using it so i can like save it and not run out of it so fast 
Then I started using this one more. I mean, this is the one that I used before I got the Adelaide palette. So I started using this one again. But you know what? It didn't really work out. I mean, I'm still using it. But I hit pan on this one too. I'm pretty sure my highlighters are going faster than any other thing that I use. Because the blush in my Adeline palette I use every day. And I haven't hit, and hit pan on that yet either. I don't understand. How I use some of the same makeup or products every day. And they're not hitting pan. But my highlighters, they just want to go away. So we're going to highlight with the same areas. The um, cheekbones, temples, and the little nose. Yeah. We highlighting. We getting a glow. We can be glowy. It's fall, but we're still glowing. I'm, I'm weird. I'm sorry. Do I am? Oh, you see it? Ooh, ooh. Ooh, girl. Okay. The highlighter wants to be sparkling today. I don't know how that happened. But she's sparkling today. She's like, today, we can be cute. We can be packed, pigmented, and sparkly. We can be cute. I really didn't eat or drink much this morning. I'm just a little hyper. I don't know why. Second to last step is the NYX, NYX Suede Matte Lipstick. This is the shade... What is it called? <laughs> Girl Bye. It's like in a, a nice dark reddish purpley type shade. It's like a burgundy. Yeah, it's a nice shade. Let's do this. Perfect for fall. Okay, I can stop being so weird in this video before it starts being like super long. So, on to the last step of this look. Well, the last step of any makeup look, really, is to set the makeup. This is my MAC Fix Plus Prep and Prime Setting Spray, which I'm almost out of. Yeah. Okay.
so that was the fall caramelized golden cut crease look hope y'all enjoyed this video if i was a little too talkative i'm sorry let me know and i will try to be not next time because i know many different people like many different types of videos so if you want me to talk a little more and not like a little more but like like i did in this video then let me know and i could do that or if i want to talk a little less let me know and i can do that too or if i get like even amounts of stuff then let's see i don't know i'm sorry i'm in a weird mood so Yes, that was the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And comment below anything if you have like any new makeup ideas or anything. I will be looking at those. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And follow my Instagrams. My yeah, my Instagrams. I have two Instagrams. Follow my makeup account and my personal account. Follow me on Twitter. I will put those in the description box below. And that is all. Thank you so much for watching. Love y'all.